competitors, Papa Ron Fortune. He was a great competitor, and as the people in the mini stock paddock will tell you, he was an even better guy. And he will be missed by everybody who is involved in motorsports and everybody who is involved at the Speed Bowl. So to honor the memory of Papa Ron, we ask you to please observe with us a moment of silence. Thank you. <laughs> on the scoreboard? Yeah, I know. How long have you been like, how many bosses go up there with one mic one? Yeah, I know. It's annoying. Trying to take the lead on the bottom. They blur into turn number three. Ken Cassidy. Can he do it again? Oh. I know, it's, it's ridiculous. I mean, those guys do their homework for sure. How much can you set these cars up? Then it will be huh? How much can you set these cars up? Hurry, hold it on. Tell them I mean, the minis are all, they're all momentum. I mean, you got the setup. He never wrecks. He doesn't, you know. 11. Yeah, he could get it. Would love a caution right now. Tighten them all up. Jess, I don't know what to tell you here, bud. I mean, no one's even close to each other. What are you do? Oh, 24. Come on. Nope, saved it. Damn it. Almost had one. Oh, there it is. They get ready. They pick up speed. Green is out. And it's Cassidy. One hit with a jump. This one's Semper. He's going to try to make the move and one. Semper fast fading away. Look at oh. Semper. Oh. What do we got here? What do we have here? They're not surrendering. They are welded together. Uh, yeah. Cassidy, the leader by a half a car. They rampage their way into turn one. Jeff wow. Sebrook looking to work on the outside to grab the checker away from Cassidy. Yeah, he is. Cassidy. Cassidy has the leverage Dig on the in. inside. Dig Side in. Side side off turn four with the white flag in the air. They hit the line. Almost even with a slight advantage to Cassidy. Cassidy going for a seventh oh. win. Sebrook going for a seventh win. Yeah, yeah. Stretch. And they thunder their way into turn three. Here is Cassidy. Look at the white line for Sebrook. No, Sebrook. Kenny's got it. Wow. Good show, though. You got a good finish out of that. I'm dedicating my third place finish. I mean, we wanted a victory, but we'll take a third place. This is dedicated to our friend that we lost, Ron Fortune. This is all for him. He, he was a great person. He was an awesome mini stock driver, and we're going to miss him a lot. Lane, Amy, Kim, the whole family down there. I love you guys. And this is for Ron Fortune. What was the difference coming down the home stretch? Um, <laughs> let's shock that one up the driver. I slipped in three and four and uh, just trying a little too hard, I guess. But my condolences to uh, Ron Fortune's family. Uh, thank you to Terry and Costa Haynes, the man who put on this great show, and all the little leaguers that came out, and all the fans. Well, it was a very special night, and tonight we remember a great competitor, Papa Ron Fortune, and I'm sure uh, you were very happy to win the race that is named after him tonight. Oh, absolutely. This one goes out to him and all his fans that came out tonight, his family, and this guy, this is for them. Oh, 
make a move or what? Well, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Going for it on the high side. Wow. Making it stick. If he beats you, he beats you, you know what I'm saying? Nice job. tried to limit the amount of time on the uh, racetrack with this car. But we got so many guys in the shop, it's hard to even work on this car, you know. Uh, can't even get to it sometimes. But special thanks to Scott Fern, Jay Moore, Junior Woods, and uh, just everybody. All the fans for coming out tonight. And my little league partner for uh, giving us a heck of an effort out here today, too. Ten to go, let's see what we got. At the end of the pack, must have been leaking something. Spun everybody out. Rogers among the cars. Craziness. Here is hot again. Air going up over Rogers there. That car is up from there for sure. I didn't mean to, but you know, I guess put on the apron, so I backed off. 
you know, I don't want to send both of the I don't know if it was speedy dry or oil still in three and four in the center. I couldn't get back to the gas, couldn't get in the way I wanted to, and uh, Dylan was able to pull up on the bumper. I mean, it was wild. They were both. I pull away a little, you catch me. I mean, we're using bumpers. I mean, that's racing. I mean, it's going to happen. Your second win of the season, who are some of the people responsible? Uh, it's actually the first win of the season, but uh, maybe I coded last year. Maybe, maybe. And that takes us to race time. All over him, like a tarpaulin, is Ray Downey Jr. in car number 99. So the problem child is posing a problem right now for Bill McNeil. It's full contact, street stop, action, already. We are all over way underneath Downing, also on the move, and going a little sideways with Joe Arena in car number 74, and uh, Brooks tried to make a move on Downing, oh, and yeah, yeah. and everybody gets involved. Woo! Nice pick. Nowhere to go. Boy, tough break. It was cleaner earlier tonight. Car was so strong in that qualifying run, and now the front end on Bill McNeil's the 44 car is torn up. By Norm Road, and here comes Arcane on the outside. He has some firepower. He's got tagging it up in the turn of the three. Dan Dawson, he is the new leader. And he firecracked his way to the winning the winning of the outside. And he's got fire to the outside. So the live wire has some voltage in that number 87 car. Number 87. Oh! That's almost loose and going into the turn of the three. Oh. Yeah! Oh! Oh! And we have to get back. Triple Wendy! First of all! Wow! Then they go for That's not good. And a vicious hit by Ted Dupre in car number 59. He went right into the wall, head on. Oh my god, the guy got slammed all over the place. He hit the wall, bounced out, big deal, had nowhere to go. Then we had. The 04 of Allen Hall, he made contact. And our safety crew, quickly there. And I don't know what was worse, Jeff, the contact from the wall or the contact from the 44. Well, he's out, thank God. And you pray, is out of his race car. Yes, he was.
Constantino let us uh, make a change, and uh, I wasn't too sure about it, but it, that that car was as good as I've ever uh, as good as I've ever driven over here. Uh, I gotta thank Nate. He's, he works tirelessly on this thing. Uh, he, he never gives up. He told me we'd get it there, and uh, we're not there. Well, he came out and played tonight, and he played it harder than anybody else. And does that. Hello. Bye bye. Oh. Huh? Well, it's not a walkie-talkie, it's just a microphone.